Hey guys, it's NFL Gaming. Welcome back to Minecraft Vanilla. We are here in our new world. I've done quite a bit of work since last episode, as I usually do. So, I uh, just took a little quick peek around. You pretty much saw everything. Uh, I've done a little bit of exploring, a little bit of mining, and so uh, here is my stock so far. I've got 10 diamonds total now. Uh, I've ran across one village and uh, an abandoned mine shaft and so I've got all these different kinds of seeds now. I got the beetroot, the melon, and the pumpkin. Found a few name tags. Um, I, I ventured out to the um, savannah biome which is just over there and it got some acacia trees. I also went down to the birch forest and got some birch saplings and I've also created a little staircase down to the bottom of our little place here and I've also put a little cap on top of it I think it looks pretty cool oh and I'm farming sugarcane so I can go uh, trade uh, paper for the map to find the um, dark oak dungeon the new dungeon in this uh, this up upcoming update so let's uh, sleep the night away quickly uh, oh the torches look weird when you're sleeping they're like sideways uh, anyway um, Oh, and I've got these bushes too. And I'm using the shovel. Uh, and if you don't know how what this is right here, it's the path block. I'm sure you all know, but if you have uh, grass and you right click on it, it makes it a path block and you can connect them up to the paths, things like that. That's pretty cool. I like how it looks actually. I didn't really like how it looks when they first showed it off, but just in small amounts, I do like it. The side texture, I do not like, but the top, I really like. And I like that it's a different level than the grass a little bit down. Uh, so we got our farm going pretty well here. We got lots of wheat and beetroot and some potatoes, pumpkins and melons growing. And then the path continues over here uh, to just a bucket of water that I placed. But then I went down there and I, I, basic, I basically filled, I filled in some land and took away some land. So I had a little lake down there. And the reason why I had a lake down there is so I could just jump down easily. Um, but we are going to see if we have enough paper to trade for that map that I'm really interested in. Uh, so where have I been putting my... Here we go. 31. I don't think that's going to be enough. 30. Yeah. Um, I'm actually going to wait just a few more minutes for my crop to grow one more time. Uh, and as, actually, I guess as we do that, I can show you this a little bit more. So what this is, it's a little... It's just a little like pagoda type of thing. Um... That if you go in here, there's just some uh, trap doors, but if here there are stairs that just loop around and down to the ground level where we can continue off on our merry way uh, to other places. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm liking how it looks. Uh, there are a lot of monsters. I have been trying to light things up. I've died plenty of times. Um, and I've had creepers almost blow this thing up a few times, but haven't quite... They haven't quite gotten it yet, so thankfully. Um, there's a big random hole right here that I don't know what to do with. Uh, I don't know if I want to cover it up or if I just want to even, even kind of like even it out. You know what I mean? Like kind of make it just like a slope because it is kind of annoying that that's there. Um, oh, I'll show you my chickens. So if we go back up here, I I'm not all the way done with this. I still kind of want to add something underneath the stairs because it just looks kind of blocky. Obviously, it's Minecraft, but it looks a little unfinished underneath the stairs. But other than that, I think it looks pretty nice. Uh, my chicken farm is right down here. Here we are, <laughs> the chicken farm. And for some reason, uh, I've found that it seems like they changed the position where you throw eggs from. So, I don't know, in, in the past, if you were standing in a, a room that's too high uh, and you throw an egg, it would throw it. But here... Um, when I throw them, it's like it's coming out of the top of my head, and so it's hitting, it's hitting this. Like as you can see, the egg is not being thrown past, you know, very far. And when the chickens actually do hatch from it, it hatch right on top of my head. So, right on my head. Uh, so I don't know if that's a if that's a new change or what, but uh, just something I noticed. Um, oh, this this chest is just full of blocks. Uh, these are from the village i i smashed all of the bookshelves and got books from them and then remade them in the bookshelves for when we get in the chanting table which we could actually do right now but i am too lazy to go mine some obsidian oh and then this right here is just a little little thing for some lava i picked up in case we ever want to use that for something but uh let's see is there a crop grown at all probably not <laughs> i want to get at least like a stack no there's been one so i'm gonna take a quick break um maybe eat some lunch you know it's getting around lunchtime, I'm getting kind of hungry. Um, but 
I will be right back once we have enough paper to go get the map. So I will be right back. Okay, so we are back and I have quite a bit of sugarcane piled up here. We got 57. That should be definitely enough to go get the map. So let's make all the paper. And I think we need, also need a compass. So let's let's make a couple just in case. I think it's I think I remember the recipe. There we go. And we're gonna do anything else? Uh nah, we're good. Okay, so I will show you where the village is. I just thought when I was kind of just exploring around our area here. It's kind of a cool one, actually. It's it's in the desert, and it does have the cartographers. Oh, crap. We might need other items. You know what? We'll, we'll figure it out once we're there. Uh, we have lots of paper. Um, hopefully, we'll be able to get some emeralds to trade, actually, in the end. But anyway, um, it's, it's in the... We are doing amplified, and so the, the village is like crazy, like crazy height differences. Um, so some of the buildings are like super, super tall, uh, and completely not even close to the other ones. I'm not actually sure the best way to get there, but this looks pretty good. Did I go at sunset? I freaking did. <laughs> Oops. Uh, oh well. We should be able to survive once we're there, and I think we'll make it there before everything starts going crazy. And one thing I've noticed is I have not played a while in a while and skeletons are impossible to kill without a bow. <laughs> if there's more than one skeleton, you might as well just run away because there is no way you are going to kill both of them. They are crazy good now. They shoot very fast. They move very fast now all of a sudden. They take like four hits from a from an iron sword, which is crazy, even even when it's fully charged up like that. <clears throat> I see it now. The big pile of dirt is what gave it away for me. I was like, hmm, that seems oddly out of place in a desert. <clears throat> Excuse me, I just ate and I got a little stickiness in my throat. But, here you can start to see how weird it is. So, so far it's not too bad. There's a little, uh, what is that? Uh, I'm, I'm not sure what the new variants of skeletons and zombies are called, but uh, they're kind of cool looking. Oh, we dropped iron. Sweet. Um, but here we go. Um, let's see. What does this guy have? This guy. Oh, he's gone. See, I tried to. Oh, it's because I left the staircase. <laughs> Oops. Uh, the good ones, uh, like this guy in here, I tried blocking up so I could. Uh, so I made. So I made sure they survived. Um, and sometimes I left little doorways in the top. I guess I didn't hear. So let's just bust our way in. Hello. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ooh, I forgot to start my timer again. Let me change it to like 12. Okay. Cartographer. So we got a trade in paper. And hopefully he does the thing where he unlocks more. No, he did not. Crap. Okay, he did it this time. So now it's a compass. Crap, am I going to have to give him both of my compasses? Maybe not. I think I am. Okay, he did it again. Now it's seven emeralds for an empty map. Uh, okay. So I am going to go back home and make some more compasses and some more paper and come back and try finishing off this guy. Um, hopefully by the end, I think by the end, once you get to the, the end of his trades, uh, he'll, he'll offer you the map. But the way it works is I, I traded him twice. Apparently it's twice. I gave him two trades of paper he gave me two emeralds and that he did that little pink pink swirlies and sparkles on top of his head that unlocked the next trade and then i did that one twice and that unlocked this trade and i can't do this one right now so i have to i have to go get more of paper and compasses to make more emeralds and then to trade for the map. so i'm gonna need a lot more compasses actually so that's gonna take a while so i guess um I'm going to take another break uh, once I go back, but um, I guess I'll show you around this village before I do that. So there's just random uh, path out into the middle of the water there. There's there's a, there's a farm way up there. Um, there's buildings that are like super tall like this, um, but then there's like ones even like that way up there. Like look how tall that is. It's crazy. Uh, we got shepherds. We got, we got actually two cartographers in this village if I remember correctly because there was two libraries that I went to. And they both were cartographers, which I think is actually pretty rare. Hi. 
You're like, you're like the, oh man, what, it's like the shell or something, husk, is it husk? Or is husk the skeleton one, I don't remember. Um, but yeah, we've already raided the, uh, the chest. Uh, there was, I think there was a, uh, blacksmith, but I don't remember where it was, but we got the stuff from it. Uh, don't worry about that. So I am going to probably spend the night in one of these places so I don't get, uh, swarmed by mobs, um, but I will be back hopefully with the villager ready to trade so i'll be back in a little bit after i hide oh god okay so i made a few trips actually uh, i had to come back for more compasses because uh the other trades were emeralds for maps and then it was um what was it i had to give him something um but it was a lot and then the the final the maps were a lot like 16 emeralds and a compass and so I finally got both of them I got the woodlands explore map and the ocean explore map and I ended up with an empty map uh, oh and I went inside the blacksmith which is behind the really tall farm and I, I gave him some of my coal and I uh, lost most of my paper but I also got a silk touch efficiency to shovel uh, and it looked like the end trades of the the uh, blacksmith were I, I could get a diamond pickaxe but it wasn't a very good one it was like an average one like I could get much better uh, so we won't probably be going back to him but anyway uh, let's take a look at these okay so what I am finding here is I am let's see if I face north oh here we go now that's north so I'm facing north um, so it's very, very southwest of me because my dot is in the very, let's see, if my cam, if my face cam is in the top right, it's like right here, I think. Let me check. No, nope. got to point with this hand because it flips it. It's like right there. See my little white dot right there. That's where my point, finger's pointing. Um, so I need to go southwest to find that. And then for this one, uh, by the way, the water is... I'm pointing at my screen. Uh, the water is the orange stuff, and then the land, it looks like there's a few islands next to the water temple, because obviously the water temple's underwater. And then this one, well, that looks pretty cool. Um, this is the um, woodland explore map, which shows the mansion. I'm not sure what it actually is called um, exactly, but that is very northeast of us, because the little dot is in the very bottom left-hand corner, uh, where my right next to where my hearts and armor are. And so what this shows is it's kind of near the coast, but it also has two rivers going in between it. Uh, and so basically what we need to do is we need to go northeast until this dot becomes, I keep pointing at my screen, the dot becomes bigger. And then that's how we know we'll be getting closer and closer to it. And so I think we're going to wait to do that because I am, as I was uh, complaining about before, I'm not even equipped to take on two skeletons, let alone uh, that dungeon, which has some crazy new enemies, which I have not fought yet whatsoever. I've only seen videos of them. Um, but yeah, we're gonna probably get some enchanting going on because I think we're actually ready for it. Let's 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 go do that actually. Let's let's make ourselves a first diamond pickaxe. We're gonna need sticks first. And we need to go find ourselves some obsidian. We're gonna need four at least. I probably wanna grab fourteen so I can make a, a portal also. So let's quickly jump down here, our little speed drop. Here we go. This is what I designed it for. <laughs> There's still grass underneath it. I don't know how to get rid of that. Hmm. Maybe I have to till it or something, or maybe I'll make it a path block or something, if that's even possible underwater. Um, but let's go back to the cave system that I know about. Do you have any water buckets? I do. Okay, good. Probably shouldn't have bought my maps with me, but it shouldn't be that tough. We're not going to stay down there for very long. Um, actually, is this it? I see light. Okay. Uh, let's just keep going down. I think I've, I've definitely been here before. I don't remember if this one... No, I don't think this is one that goes down. Um, I think there's a pool of lava somewhere. Uh, let me actually... Oh, there's... Well, that's one block of lava. Let me cut quick uh, and I'll find a pool of lava. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I actually wasn't even close to what I remember seeing. This is the one I was thinking of. Uh, our, our village is like just over there. Our home is just over there. And we were like way, way over there. So I, I, oh, that was close. I've come back here and I've come to claim this little lava pool as my own. 
by covering it in water. So now, hopefully, we should be able to mine this without getting burned. So I'm going to do a little speedy up thing, as I as I like to do, and uh, we'll get through this. So after I mine this first one. <laughs> Okay, so I've gotten my 14 uh, obsidian. I don't actually need 14 for this project specifically, but I figured I'd grab the extra 10 for the nether portal while I was there. For this purpose, I don't know why I needed a crafting table either, but we'll make one anyway. Uh, we're gonna need um, four obsidian, two diamonds, and a book, which I don't have. <laughs> so I'm actually gonna have to put one of these down. I've already gotten that achievement. That was weird. Actually, why did that? What the heck? Oh, diamond steel. Was that the one that says? How do I... Diamonds. Is that the one I just... Hmm. Anyway. Um, that's weird. Achievements are weird. I'm going to have to break this to get a book in order to craft this. So I will have one less bookshelf for my setup. Um, here we go. Here we go. Enchanting table. Enchantment table. Yes. And I thought, what better place to do it than right on the peak here? And it's actually pretty symmetrical, too. Like, there's a one and then another little one bump out, and then there's a two bump out, and then it kind of goes from there. But, uh, yeah, let's, let's just uh, toss them down here. Let's go. Oh, crap. Uh, okay, I actually have a silk touch shovel. So let's... I want to break this one because I don't think the corners matter. Uh, so let's do there, 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 and there. I'm not actually sure how many you need for a full enchantment setup, but we might be close. I can't enchant hose. <laughs> uh, oh, we're, we're super close. And we do have a little bit of lapis too. Uh, we could do a level 26 enchantment, or we could go find, like, a cow. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to go find one cow, because I need one more book. I need one more book to make another bookshelf. Um, what was I just going to do? Oh, grab my lapis and find a cow. So, let's go do that. Um, we're actually going to save our diamond guy. So, we saved our ability on it. We've only used it 14 times. Well, a little bit more because we actually broke a couple of clay blocks, but whatever. Uh, yeah, we have tons of lapis. So I'm actually going to deposit these just in case I die. And all that. And that. Uh, we're actually, let's let's see what our map looks like here. Actually, no, let's make it let's make it bigger quick. So in order to make a map bigger, I think you do this before you make it. No, no, you have to make, you have to make the map first. So let's do that. Let's sit... Let's make this the middle, if, if at all possible. So let's just stand right in the middle of it and right click. Okay, it's a little off to the side, but that looks pretty good. Uh, the path shows up really nicely. Okay, good to have. Uh, and now we can make it bigger by doing that. And now it's just zoomed out a little bit. Oh, wow. Yeah, we're in the center there, but that is that's a little too zoomed out. Doesn't look as good. Anyway, uh, we can mess with that later. Uh, I don't want it in blocks. Okay, let's go find ourselves a cow. I think there are some cows down there, but there's also some baddies down there. So I'm going to take a, another quick little break and go find a few cows, and I'll be right back. All right, so I am back uh, the next day, actually. Uh, I took a little bit of a break, uh, but I did find some cows. I found a few of them way off in the distance that way, actually. Um, oh, and I should probably turn my, my render distance up. I, am, I was ex doing a little bit of exploring also. Um, but yeah, some cows were in the forest. Oh, wow. For some reason, my mouse sensitivity just skyrockets every once in a while. Not really sure why that happens, but... Uh, there were a couple of cows over there. Uh, I did not bring them back because I didn't have any wheat with me by the time I got there. Um, but I did fence them in. And so there are, I think, four or five cows fenced in a little little area over there. So uh, we can go get those some other time. 
But for the uh, for the moment being, I have some paper and I have some uh, leather. So let's create our books. There we go. And we need one more bookshelf to complete this set. And then we can do our first level 30 enchantment. Wait, what am I doing? Yeah, three of them. <laughs> there we go. And we get an achievement. Sweet. Boom. All right, so now... Ah, dang it. I forgot my lapis. There we go. Anything else I want to enchant in here? No, there's nothing. Uh, I'm not going to enchant this iron armor. I'm going to wait until I get diamond armor to enchant it. Here we go. Wait, what? Do I need more? I'll be right back. Alright, so I found a couple more cows off in the distance there, and I killed them for their leather, and now I'm going to sleep quick. Make another bookshelf. Hopefully, it's just one more. Hopefully, because I only have enough for one more. <laughs> Maybe I should have gotten enough for two more. That was probably the best idea, but oh well. Let's do this. Please work. I, uh, you know what? I think it isn't going to be enough. I think this is going to just get me to uh, 29 levels, isn't it? Oh no, it got me 30. Why is it odd? Why is it an odd number of bookshelves that gets you there? I don't have any in the corners. This should be getting power from all of them. Hmm. Oh well. I'm not going to complain. Um, I need to be at level 30. That is a slight problem. <laughs> How did I forget about that crucial part? I just kind of like assume I'm at level 30 because I've always had like a, a farm, an XP farm, like a skeleton farm or something. Oh, and it looks like they fixed the eggs or something. Huh. They used to like throw from the top of my head, but now they're actually throwing correctly, it looks like. Um, but yeah, we're going to need uh, some levels. So I'm going <laughs> to gonna do a little, little bit of grinding, probably going to farm some chickens, probably going to... You know, go around at night and um, kill some monsters. But uh, yeah, I'll be right back again. Okay, so uh, I'm back, and that took a lot longer than I expected. Uh, I need to get a mob farm like ASAP. I have found a cave spider spawner in that abandoned mine shaft, but I don't want to mess with that quite yet. Don't really like those guys. Uh, so let's finally do this. Fortune three. That is a good start. Please be more than fortune three. Efficiency four. Okay, that's pretty good. There's no unbreaking, but that's pretty good. Not gonna argue with that. Now we have a very, very good pick for getting lots and lots of diamonds, which is what we want. So I'm going to probably uh, do some mining in between this and the next episode. We'll probably, uh, uh, well, I might, I might do a little time lapse of me. Uh, oops, excuse me. Under my eye. Might do a little uh, speed build of a house or something up on this hill. Um, but I think that will be it for this episode. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, let me know what you think uh, in the comments below. And then um, I guess the order of events from here on out is I'm going to do some mining, uh, get enough diamonds to probably make full diamond. That's what I want to make full diamond uh, and, and at least an enchanted sword. Uh, diamond sword so we could take on the uh, the woodland um, dungeon the new dungeon the mansion uh, because we'd have a map to it uh, I'm, I'm gonna save the the uh, underwater dungeon for later though because that will involve going to the nether and getting potions for water breathing and, and stuff like that but uh, I think we could take on the um, the mansion without potions so I think we're gonna do that one first um, anyway let me know what you guys think uh, thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye bye